Alright, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to the Latsuk Remote. We're into the January transfer window, and let's take a look at the calendar actually. And we will also have a big game against Roma in this episode, our biggest rivals. And also AC Milan in the Coppa Nazionale. And obviously, maybe a couple of transfer deals, I'm not quite sure. Obviously, if you've seen last episode, you will know that we've accepted a deal for Lori Kana to Arsenal uh, for 3.3 million. Now, he's obviously in contract talks with them. He's not yet sold, but if that goes through, we would have like around 10 million to work with. And we could definitely buy somebody from that or with that money. Alright, so we're going up with a pretty weak side, to be honest. Pretty much my second team besides Kondreva, obviously. And it's also Berisha in goal because he wanted to play again. He sent me an email, so we're gonna grant him his wish. And let's see if we can beat Sampdoria, even though we're not putting up our best squad. Ooh, looks like we're gonna play against Samietto. Completely forgot about that, actually, but that's gonna be quite a challenge, actually. Oh my god. Wow, that was actually pretty close. I'm not quite sure why uh, it says Djordjevic on the back of his jersey, because if you look at it uh, now, down uh, down right here, or bottom right, it's written completely differently, so I'm not quite sure what that is. Oh yes, Gooley with a nice shot there, first really good chance of the game so far. Oh my god, no! Oh, Berisha, what a save. It's just such a boring game, and Sampdoria are now parking the bus, so it's gonna be even tougher for me to get through. Maybe here. Let's cross in. Zaza! He said the crossbar. Like I said, he can't score for me. He just can't score. It's absolutely ridiculous. Alright, and that is it. Such a boring, boring, boring game. My goodness. <laughs> It was absolutely awful, both teams, really. Alright, so looks like Lorik Kana is going to Arsenal and we've got 2.8 million to our transfer budget. And also, Etrid Berisha is happy that I gave him the chance. So, what are we going to do with that money? Well, let's take a look at my shortlist. And I said I kind of wanted to replace uh, Kana. And I think we could do that with either Pablo and Sua or... I'd rather get Jose Maria Jimenez, showing great potential, 2.3 million, and if we could actually get him for 6 or 6.5, it's say 6.3 for now, and submit the offer. That would be an absolute bargain, actually. Alright, so Felipe Anderson has declined his contract offer. Did I give him the wrong squad role? Not quite sure. 60k. I mean, he is a crucial first-team player. I think I gave him important. Maybe one's crucial now. Okay, so Atletico Madrid want 8.5 million for Jose Maria Jimenez. Um, I think I'm gonna try one more time with 6.6. .6. I'm gonna try to go at, uh, as low as possible. And we now have this game against Roma here. A pretty big one. Where the fuck is Roma? They are in 12th. What the hell? Roma is in 12th. I kept looking at the table and I was like, isn't there one team missing there? There's actually two teams missing up there. Also, Napoli are only in ninth. Wow, that is pretty weird, but obviously it's still going to be a pretty tough game for us. So, Felipe Anderson is still not quite 100% fit. So, I'm going to keep him off in this game or maybe bring him on in the second half. So, it's going to be Edison in his place. And I've got closer up front. I wasn't quite sure whether to play him or Djordovic. But I think I'm going to start off with closer and maybe bring Djordovic in the second half if it's still like nil-nil or we behind. But anyways, that is the team that I'm starting off with here against Roma. Let's do this. Alright, so we have an away match at a Stadio Olimpico. That sounds pretty weird, right? But that is what it is because obviously Roma and Lazio share the Stadio Olimpico. So here's Roma's lineup. Oh my god. Almost forgot about it. Javinho, Dumbia, and Ibarbo. <laughs> well, luckily, I'm not playing Ultimate Team right now, else I would be getting totally abused. Or maybe in career mode, it's not too bad. Oh my goodness. 
I am not gonna have fun, am I? Oh, nice pass to Kavanda here. Beautiful pass. Bilia with the 1 0 here. Our first chance of the game. And it's 1 0 to Lazio here in the Rome Derby. I'm not quite sure how you call it. There's probably some really fancy Italian name for this game, but <laughs> I don't know it. But it doesn't matter right now. Bilia with the goal here. Our center defensive mid with a goal. Usually a striker would score. <laughs> oh god. Oh god. Oh no! Whoa, whoa, no, 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 please not. Not like that. Okay. Wow. That was actually really, really close. Alright, so we're getting into half time now. We're leading 1 0 against Roma. A great start, but Roma probably could have scored at least one goal. They've had two very big chances, so. We have to be aware in the second half and hopefully score another goal. Oh yes. I just love Cavanda going forward. Now get a nice cross in. Balde Keita. Can't head it in. Lulic has it to Keita. Goes just wide. Oh yes. Nice ball to Lulic. Cross in. Miroslav. Closer with the 2-0. He just keeps scoring. He just can't stop. Absolutely insane. And especially in the big games, he always scores. Great header there. Great header. Hits the post going in. And we're up 2 0 against our rivals. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. And as always, we concede a goal when we're leading. Ah, oh, so frustrating. Every freaking time. Well, look who's coming back. Felipe Anderson making his first appearance since, I think, September, actually. He's been out for a long, long time, and now he's finally back. I bet he's gonna get injured, like, right away. Within, like, three minutes. Oh, he's totally, totally done the defender. He could be in here. What? What? How... What? Oh, are you serious? He tries to clear the ball and fouls him. It's just an absolute joke. It's just a freaking joke. Oh, this could be a chance. Parolo! No! Keeper's got it. Alright, and that's it. I can't believe we fucked up a 2 0 lead. Can't believe it. Just can't believe it. Absolutely fuck that game. Ah, oh, Ledesma, just... Just fuck off. Not now. Not freaking now. Alright, so Felipe Anderson has accepted his contract offer, which is nice to see. And Atletico still want those 8.5 million, don't they? Hmm... I just won't... I just don't want to blow my ca all my cash right away. Let's try with 7 million. So for this Copa Nazionale game against AC Milan, I'm going to put up pretty much my best squad possible. Nobody looks too tired, so I really have no reason playing a weaker squad. And I kind of want to do well in the Copa Nazionale. So we're visiting the San Siro for the third time this season now. First we played against Milan in the league, then against Inter, and now right here in the Coppa Nazionale, we're going to play AC Milan again. Right, so here's Milan's lineup. Uh, Shari, Destro, Honda, Buenaventura, pretty solid, pretty solid starting 11. I think they're actually second in the league right now. And if they've won the last game, they would be now only two points behind us. Or maybe only one, I'm not quite sure. We have to look. Oh, wow. Wait, there's somebody, there's somebody injured there. Fuck's sake. Is it Maurizio? No, it isn't. Who is it? Can't quite tell. Right, so we might have a nice chance here with Kondreva. 30 yards out? I think he can do it. Let's try. And it's not going in! Just over, wow. Oh, Felipe Anderson, come on, have a shot! Oh! That was a pretty nice one. Oh, Lulic! Nice ball to Kondreva! Hit that! It's 1-0! Yes! How is it an own goal again? It was gonna go on target anyways! What the hell? Just give Contreva the goal! Yo, there's so many own goals since the patch, it's absolutely 
crazy. Alright, I'm actually gonna stop off Cavanda because he's got a little knock. He could play on, but I don't want him to be injured for 10 million years. Oh, nice ball to Djordovic. Come on, let's finish it. 2-0. And that, this time hopefully, should be it. <laughs> and yes, it is. AC Milan, really. Did they, did they even have a chance in this game worth showing? I'm not quite sure. They've been they've been playing pretty pretty poorly, especially going forward. And we got a deserved 2-0 win here, and we are progressing further into the Copa Nazionale. Look at that! Without a single shot on target, I've won 2-0. Yeah. Who wants some now? But yeah, they I forgot they got a shot on target, but it was not really worth showing. So, yeah. Right, so unfortunately, Luis Pedro Cavanda is gonna be out for three weeks. So it looks like he's picked up a rather serious injury in the last game. And Basta is gonna take his spot in the starting lineup. And we're gonna put Conco on the bench. Alright, so Atletico Madrid have accepted 7 million for Jose Maria Jimenez. And I think that's a very good deal. That's, that's a bargain, actually. So, I think we're gonna sign him up for four years. And. He's only a squad rotation player there, so maybe, ah, uh, I think it's worth uh, giving giving him important first team player. So he's probably gonna join right away. So, ooh, so Handanovic is gonna move to Barcelona for some reason, in the, even though they have Terstegen and Bravo. And look at it, Milan are only one point behind us. So with those last two draws in the league, we. Kind of fucked ourselves up. <laughs> but anyways, next time we're going to play against Napoli and also against AC Milan in the league. And we've got Juventus in the next round. Wow, we're not getting any luck with the draws in FIFA 15, are we? And possibly we will also have a new signing to announce in Jose Maria Jimenez. But yeah, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe for more Let's Take Remote and support the series. See you next time. See you guys then. Goodbye.